This is Math 98, Practice Test 2, Problems 13 and 14. And the directions for these problems are simplify. So, uh, when I simplify radicals, my two big pieces are make sure I take out as, ma as many squares as I can, do as much squaring as I can, and I can't leave radicals in the denominator. So, let me think about this. This is the same as square root of 5 over the square root of 18. Now, um, square root of 5, I can't get any squares out of that. Square root of 18, I can. 18 is 9 times 2. Remember, those are still square rooted. So this is the same as square root of 9 is 3 multiplied by the square root of 2. Now, I'm not quite done because I have this radical 2 in the denominator. I just can't leave them there. It's just not good form. So what I'm going to do is multiply by 1, but 1 in this form. And notice what this does for me. Square root of 2 times square root of 2. That's square root of 4, which is 2. So in the denominator, I have 3 times 2, which is 6. And up top, square root of 5 times square root of 2, that numerator, square root of 10. All right, number 14, same type of thinking, just a little bit more work. So this is uh, square root of 27, square root of x cubed, over square root. I'm going to leave this as 5y. So let me do some breaking up of stuff up top here. Square root of 27. That's 9 times 3. Again, I found that square that's in there. Square root of 9 is 3, so that's 3 root 3. Uh, square root of x cubed. x cubed I can split into x squared times x. They're both square root. Square root of x is x. Square root of x. So if I combine these, I have 3x root 3x Whew. over square root of 5y. So I've taken out as many of the squares as I can. Now I've got to get rid of this radical in the denominator. I'm not allowed to leave it there. So I am going to multiply by root 5y over root 5y. Remember, which is just a 1. So in the denominator, root 5y times root 5y is 5y. That's why I chose that to multiply by. And then up in the numerator, 3x. And then square root of 3 times 5 is 15. x times y is xy.